When back-ordered items are received into the warehouse, you need to have an efficient and easy way to determine which customer orders should be filled first. Let's see how Microsoft Dynamics GP helps you make these important decisions. Our bike inventory was recently restocked. In order to keep track of outstanding back orders and other important tasks, an auto-generated reminder is available on the sales manager's homepage to keep him up to date regarding which orders need to be fulfilled. Since the bike inventory has been replenished, it is vital to fill the right orders as quickly as possible. Microsoft Dynamics GP's automated order allocation option can help you make these important decisions with relative ease. You can easily allocate and select the orders you want to fulfill by using flexible selection criteria by customer priority, requested ship date, customer ID, document date, batch ID, and many more. You can view all orders pending for this item. You can also obtain detailed information on each order and the associated customer. Selecting the right orders to fill can help you efficiently meet and exceed customer expectations, increase customer loyalty, and ensure you make the most of your customer relationships. Improving your ability to efficiently receive goods and ship them to customers can make a major impact on your profitability and customer satisfaction. Let's take a look at a couple of ways Microsoft Dynamics GP can help you improve these vital processes. A new shipment has just arrived at the warehouse. You are now ready to enter the receiving information into the system. Many vendors provide a bill of lading when shipping goods. With Microsoft Dynamics GP, you can easily attach a scanned bill of lading to the receipt document for easy access. Now, we're ready to enter the receipt of goods. The Auto Receive function within Microsoft Dynamics GP makes it easy to record full or partial shipments. Here's the purchase order for the shipment you received. If the entire order had been received, you could simply click the Receive button and update the system. But in this case, the manufacturer was only able to fill 60 of the 100 bikes you ordered. After you edit the quantity shipped to your warehouse, you're ready to post the receivings transaction and place the new inventory into the warehouse. Posting this receivings transaction will update the inventory on hand, inventory costs, and general ledger accounts all in one step. Being able to easily receive items into inventory, even partial shipments, is just one of the processes Microsoft Dynamics GP can help you manage with greater speed and efficiency. Managing customer credit lines requires a delicate balance. The salesperson wants to close the sale, the executives want to hit revenue projections, and you want to keep your customers. Let's say one of your salespeople has just completed a large order for mountain bikes. The order is in excess of $20,000, bringing the customer over their credit limit. The order currently has been placed on credit hold. Microsoft Dynamics GP automatically generates an email to alert the credit manager of the pending issue and required task. The credit manager can follow the link back from the email in order to review the high-level details about this order. The next step is to take a closer look at the customer's record within Microsoft Dynamics GP. It appears this order is a fairly large order for this customer. They currently owe approximately $9,500, so this explains the credit limit overage. Let's go into one more level of detail to see if they are a credit risk. Here you can see their open balance is all in the current aging bucket. Nothing is past due and there have been no collection calls made to the customer, so that's a positive. Here you can see the average days to pay, last invoice and last payment all check out. Based on the sales manager's approval and based on your evidence that this customer has been in good standing in the past, you decide to give the go-ahead and remove the credit hold. But first, let's attach a note documenting our decision. 
With Microsoft Dynamics GP, you can easily attach a note detailing the decision. Here's what a finished note would look like. Now you're ready to approve the credit limit override. After approving this task, the submitter can be automatically informed of the approval. The order will be unlocked and available to be fulfilled. The submission, approval date, times, and notes are all archived for historical reference. Automated approvals and the supporting documentation associated with the approval are invaluable as a company grows in size. It provides clear procedures that can be followed consistently and reduces the multiple phone calls and emails which usually accompany this process.